What's up YouTube, it's your boy Shane coming back to you with another video, AKA Mr. Stay Official. In today's video, I got some tips, tricks, maybe some hacks for taking showers in the Navy, bro. I know you're thinking like, yo, what? Like, yeah, bro, it's a serious business, you dig what I'm saying? So yeah, let's get into the video. Got about 10 and a bonus one, you know what I mean? But they are no order of importance. They just, we just gonna run it up. All right, so number one, all right. All right, so when you take a shower, you finish washed up and all that, you turn the water off and you wet, obviously, before you dry off. Make sure you do like this, you feel me? Like, like the like the swoop. You know what I mean? Like you gotta really wipe 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 the water off first with your hand. It's gonna take so much water off your body. That way you don't get your towels wet because in the Navy, bro, you do not want no wet towel because it's gonna get musty, it's gonna get mildewy, it's gonna get all of that. But that's gonna lead us into our next one. Make sure y'all getting yourself like a microfiber towel or a thin towel. I know you're saying it may not be as comfortable as like one of the plush towels, like the bath towels or whatever. But yo, we on a warship, not a cruise ship. So it's not about comfort. It's about practicalities. It's about what works best. So get yourself a thin towel or a microfiber towel. You can even go look under like the camping section in Walmart and get one of them type of towels or just, just a thin towel in general that's going to dry fast. Because where your rack at, it may not be that much airflow to dry your towel is good. So you don't want no mildewy towel because we don't get to wash clothes as often as regular people. So keep that in mind. Number three hack or tip, whatever you want to call it. I can't tell you the amount of times I've been in the shower and got caught in a man overboard or the, sh or the water just stopped running. And like, bro, like you understand you'll be in the shower and then like full suds up and then the water just stopped running. That's just part of being on the ship. They had cut the water off. So what I learned is from being, because I'd have had to, I'd have been all sussed up, and I'd have had to get out the shower and stand at the sink, butt naked, uh, sussed up, trying to wrench off with the water that's left in the pipes to the sink. Like I'm trying to, and that's running out. So I'm like really trying to like hurry up and just get the suds off me. But yeah, so what I learned is you wash it up. Let's say you wash your arm, boom, you got, you just washed it. Go ahead and rinse it off. So that way you never get caught lacking with all that all that soap on your body because that's a bad day. If you got soap on your body and you don't got no way to rinse it off, you just gotta wipe it off with a towel and it's still soaps come on you. Come on now, you'll be looking like a shower door. So make sure you rinse off like that. Then you wash and boom, 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 rinse that off. Wash your neck, boom, 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 rinse that off. I already do that anyway because I be using that Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap and that joint cold, so I'll be getting that joint off me as fast as possible. Promo time. If you haven't tuned into Official Sheen TV, that's it, Official Sheen TV. That's where I post personal videos and videos that have nothing to do with the military, motivational videos. So if you've liked me and you're a true supporter, like a loyal, true supporter of this official gang, you're a real referee out here, I'm gonna need you to go get Official Sheen TV. But back to your regular schedule programming. Number four, now this should go without explaining. Don't drop the soap. Now this ain't got nothing to do with what you probably can't tell in your mind. Don't drop the soap. Don't it ain't nothing like that. But don't drop the soap being that the floor is dirty, the deck is dirty, especially in the shower. You don't know what people be doing in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, don't drop the soap. You don't want to drop your soap. Bro, I didn't drop I had a bar of soap before. Now, what made me think of using bars of soap on a navy ship? I don't know. It's it's a, it's stupid using a navy. It's stupid. I dropped the bar of soap. And then I was like, yo, you can't use it no more. I'm not about to pick, I'm not, I mean, I picked it up throwing the trash, but I'm not about to pick it up to use it. You feel me? Like, I, mean, I told my homie like, yeah, yo, like, I dropped my bar of soap in that joint and I threw it away. He was like, throw it away. Why don't you just wash the layers back? I said, bro, we not washing no layers back, bro. Like, we just gonna throw it away and then go get some body wash or something from the ship store. So to avoid that, you can literally put a hole in your, in your soap and put it on a rope if you want. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, but most likely that's not practical, so I tell you to use body wash. Well, that's it. Uh, they got these things out. I see a lot of people on deployment. They use them. Uh, it's like a, it's like the loofah type sponge, but you could put the bar of soap inside of it, so like it's always in there. You don't take it out. You just put it inside of it. But uh, I'm not like a. I, I have used loofahs on on board, but I wouldn't say they're a good use but i just had a place where i could put mine that it dried off because the problem with loof is that they don't dry sometimes they don't dry as good so but you could put it under the dryer if you want and dry your stuff off like that i'm not gonna include that one as a tip on the drying stuff but you can dry all your stuff like you could take like i see people standing at the dryer and they're like dry the uh flip-flops or dry they uh whatever they loofahs they see me on there with toothbrush 
Cause they got it's like the that's another joint you ever go to rest uh, restroom and it's like that that all high powered joint. That's what it is in there. All right, tip number five: bring your well, underclothes to the shower. That's what I do because if you have never been on a navy ship, it can get real cold in the berth because they like to keep the AC cranked up because it helps fight germs and all that type of stuff. So that yo. I'm talking about like the burden be sometimes like some burdens is so cold that if you will go to sleep and wake up with a cold, that's how cold it is, bro. Like it'd be like 50 degrees in, in the burden. So who wants to walk? I done done it millions of times, but who wants to get out the shower and walk back to their uh, drink with just a towel on? It's cold as I don't know what. You'll catch a cold on the way to get racked. So bring your underclothes in there because when you dry it off and you got your like at least your undershirt and like some drawers on, you, you straight. All right, number six, number six. So for my gym people out there, people that go to the gym and all of that, um, bring your workout clothes to the gym. I mean, to the uh, shower and rinse them out in there. Like, rinse them out under the water because, listen, nobody want to be smelling your funky gym clothes and all of that because you didn't put your wet, sweaty gym clothes in your in your laundry bag. And nobody want to be smelling that around the, around the cube. So make sure you go rinse that joint out and hang it up somewhere where it could dry. You ain't got to, like, I, some people actually clean them in there. You don't got to do all that if you don't want to. It's up to you. Uh... But at least rinse them off if they sweaty. Like, if they sweaty, you know you stink. Like, you know you musty. Go rinse them joints out and then go hang them up. And then you put them in the laundry bag when they dry off. Like, make that a ritual. Ain't nobody trying to be smelling that in the cube. All right, number seven. Number seven. All right, listen. Y'all think I'm on planet. Listen, when you're in the shower, make sure you have yourself a wide stance, okay? You feel me? You're going to want a wide stance in that joint because the ship, yeah, I think we're on a ship. The ship can get to rocking. The ship can get to rocking. Do not be standing unbalanced in that shower and you lean over and you touch that shower wall. Do not touch that shower wall. You will have to go down to medical, cut your arm off, cut the whole right side of your body off. Don't touch the shower wall. The shower wall is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life sometime. It's just nasty, bro. And it look, it look, cause they stainless steel, so it will look clean. Like it will look like it ain't dirty. But bro, I'm telling you right now, I done been head crew in that joint. Them joints is dirty. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. And then a lot of these navy people, some of them is nasty, bro. You don't be you know what they be doing in there, what they do. You don't want to touch it. Be boogers on it and all type of stuff. So don't touch that. Just have a wide stance. Be balanced. Be anticipating the rock. You know, ready to rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm standing there. I'm standing tall. So don't touch the shower wall. Okay, number nine. This is for them oblivious people. People don't be paying no attention. Everybody doing the people that just don't even be thinking, right? Listen, the shower, way the shower heads is, you can angle them joints up. And how close the shower is to somebody else, uh, even though it's divided, you can still spray it over the top on somebody else by mistake. So I have had people do that to me. Like, I've been drying off and they angle that joint because they want the, they're waiting on the water to get hot. And they angle that joint at a crazy angle so they can still get in. And then that joint splashing all on me and I'm over here trying to dry off or I'm in that joint washing up myself and I start feeling cold water come over the top of my head or something. So make sure you be well aware of what you're doing with that shower head, bro. Don't be that guy, you feel me? Like everybody ran into that guy that's over here splashing cold water on the other side or boiling hot water on the other side. Hey, bro. Be mindful. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. I done lost count of where we at. So we just gonna run it up. I'm just gonna keep the tips coming. Before you go on deployment, make sure you go get some shoes like this, bro. Get you some joints that got the holes in them because they drain quick and easy to dry. You don't want to have them soggy, soggy old sandals, man. Uh, so, yeah, ha have them joints. A lot of people don't like them just because, like, if you step in a puddle, I guess it can come up or stuff could. But I ain't never had no issues with that. Watch where you walk and don't step in a puddle when you be straight, right? Self-explanatory. So, get you some of them joints. They dry real quick. Easy day. Okay, boom, another tip. Limit the conversation in the shower, okay? You know what I'm saying? Hey, of course you may have your, you and your homie may get in the shower at the same time. That's fine, you know what I mean? Say a couple words here and there, here and there. But I'm not trying to be in the middle shower, because it's usually like three like this, right? I'm not trying to be in the middle shower. Your homie right here and you over here, and y'all over here just talking, bro. I'm talking about, listen, deployment will bring the most craziest conversations up. Like, You'd be like, whoa, what are y'all talking about? Like, you ever been, you ain't never been in the shower and you hearing somebody talk about would a shark beat a bear? 
Can you imagine that type of stupid conversation? You know what I mean? You sitting there trying to shower and you hear, nah, bro, but if a bear went in the water, it would bite the shark. Nah, but if the shark came on the land, I'm telling you, bro, you'll hear some stupid stuff. So limit the conversation. It didn't take too long. Y'all be taking too long to get out the shower. You got people waiting outside. They like, yo, an octopus would win. You feel me? Like, you know what I mean? They would, they get into, you know what I mean? So just limit the conversation, please. Another annoying thing, another tip, don't be this guy. Don't be the guy to go hang up your, your underclothes and stuff over top the shower or put your towel there and make it like you're ready to hop in the shower. And then you go sit on the toilet for about 20 minutes. What you doing? There's people to be waiting to get in the shower and you over here going plop your stuff up and go and go sit on the toilet. You think somebody won't move your stuff? Bro, they will put your stuff in the most unsanitary place and, and then you won't come out mad as I don't know what. Somebody in your shower and your stuff laying on the sink. So don't be that guy because you will get your stuff moved because that's really inconsiderate. Now, last tip. Last tip. If I got to tell you one thing, one second, hold on. I still do it. Put your towel and stuff on like a hanger, okay? Or your loofah on a hanger, whatever you want to do. Put them on a hanger because... The worst and the most anxiety you're going to have in that shower is if your towel didn't hit the floor, man. Everybody didn't drop the towel, and that's the worst thing ever. Rest in peace to that towel, okay? If you drop a towel, I'm telling you right now, don't, don't use it. Don't use it. Literally walk to your rack butt naked. Straight up. Don't even use it, bro. Like, don't use it, man. You better draw off with your something, but don't. That's why you always got to have extra towels on, on board, because that's, you, oh, I just seen it happen. I didn't see somebody drop their towel. It's just like, I feel you, bro. I didn't done it. It's a bad feeling. So make sure if you put it on here, it's more stable. Because usually you just got to wrap it around like the hook. So if you put it right here and then you put this on the hook, it's less likely because this can ring around the joint. It ain't going to fall. So make sure you put it on the hanger and all that. Don't be, don't just wrap that joint around. We didn't all done it. We didn't all drop the towel. Don't. It may just be a thing you have to go through in life. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all watching this video. And like I said, make sure you go subscribe to the, my other channel, my personal channel, Official Shame TV. I just started it, and we running that joint up. We running that joint up. So make sure you go catch that. I hope y'all stay official like referee with a whistle. Grab the social media. Stay official like referee with a whistle. God bless you. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Let's go.